Hello everyone and welcome back to Cat Tales! And we are here with our young cat, our little spy with the adorable little bell caller, Mossy of the Forest Colony Cat Clan here in the alpha version of Cat Tales. And we're actually very deep down in the mines. I am so happy. Last time we unlocked level 35 of the mines, which means that we now have the ability to buy a quick travel deep into the mines so we never have to go through the base levels of mines again get away from me bats get away from me and that also means oh no we're gonna have to cross the water probably okay let's let's gear up for this ah ah death and doom okay okay there's that let's run over here we got away from the bats we're also starving to death <laughs> What a way to start. Let's go ahead and eat this dove. There we go. But we have managed to get very deep into the mines for the first time. And of course, it's going to be the last rock to make our way down. There we are. And I'm very proud of Mossy. She was told by the mole that there is actually beautiful gemstones hiding deep inside of these mines. And in the interest of being a very eager collector cat and also loving shiny things, we immediately started digging our way down. However, it's been pretty hard because the first several layers of the mine are just full and full and full of rocks there's oh there's a little harvest mouse <gasps> we definitely need that little guy all right all right no back off back off back off bat ah, I can't see okay let's go I want this mouse we need to chase this mouse into a corner like this and then snag it and we have some more food guys also let's get rid of this bat because he's trying to he's ah, he's so strong Oh, we did it though. All right, so we gained a little bit of experience from defeating that bat. But yeah, the first several layers of the mines were just this bit of rock debris. And for a while there, I was thinking that we would let Mossy try to eat the mole because clearly he was lying to us. There was no delicious, wonderful world full of beautiful gemstones. Um, there was just endless bits of this rock debris that we've been hauling around. And now I feel like we can actually go ahead and drop. And how we finally, however, managed to get deep enough in the mines that we struck gold last time and we learned that the mole molo was not lying to us we just need to go really 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 deep in the mines before we're able to find anything very valuable i think it'd be really useful i'm gonna leave a suggestion over on the forums again but i think it'd be super useful and really cool if while you're wiggling your way down the mines you could maybe find like patches of moss or maybe you could find uh, like glowing illuminated mushrooms that you'd be able to use to illuminate up your den. That'd be really fun. Or maybe just like, I want to find like the raw crystal. I think that the raw crystal would be a lot of fun. Oh, there we go. All right, another path down. And if we make it to level 50 in the mines, then we will actually be able to hopefully access buying the quick travel through the mine system, all the tunnels and caves that we had made down to the moles. And that would be really fun because maybe if we get to the moles down there, we can finally start finding gemstones. But yeah, poor Mossy, she's just like running around down here trying to strike gold. And I don't know if we'll be able to get down there. We're running out of energy and we're running out of, oh, get away from me, bat. And we're running out of food is really our tough spot. So at least we can make it down to level 25, though. That's definitely an improvement. Get away from me, moles. Or get away from me, bats. All right, let's see this. Okay, go, 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 go. All right, that's the other thing is we're just starting to outrun the bats for the most part. And that's very helpful, too. All right, level 30, come on level 30, give me level 31. Once you get down to like 31, ah, oh, there we go. All right, are we gonna have new kinds of rocks? <gasps> yes, come on, new treasure. Oh, I must admit, I am I am very obsessed with uh, snagging what treasures we can find. And it is very helpful when you stumble on a, oh my, holy gosh, what did we just find? No, Mr. Bat, you can't you can't keep me away from whatever this little loot is. You can just back your like little batty self out of here. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead. Yes, all right, we gained a little experience point fighting him. Uh, do I have any food? Here we go. You guys, you guys. <gasps> it sparkles! It's our very first sparkly gemstone! Oh my gosh, we found the topaz, a sparkling yellow gemstone that is liked by the moles. I am so excited. This is so cool. All right. Well, that definitely bodes well. 
I think you can also find, uh, I remember seeing the diamond and being totally blown away at seeing that you could get diamonds, but we're gonna have to see, oh, there's another topaz, I'm so happy. We're gonna have to see how much the diamonds sell for because I think the topaz will actually sell for quite a lot to Ember. Suddenly, we are a very rich cat indeed. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and use Sprint. We're gonna run down over here to see if this is gonna be our path down. Unfortunately not. <laughs> but at least I'm remembering to use our active skills like that a little bit more actively, not just the diplomacy either. All right, let's descend the stairs. And if we can somehow miraculously, miraculously, hmm, kind of stretching the puns there again, make it all the way to level 50, then yeah, then we will be able to buy the other mole pass to be able to just warp down there instead. Imagine how rich we could become. Like we could just start buying everything. We could just buy all of the, the different skins. We could get so many things, all of the little hats. Hmm, all right, we're gonna have to watch out for these bats. I don't wanna get caught by them. Hey, back off. Bat off, you guys. All right, oh, there's a mole, there's a little mouse. I should have gotten him. Ah, oh, there's Topaz. Ah, oh, I'm starving to death. Ah, oh, so much happening. Okay, eat this, use that, turn around, defeat the bat had enough of these little bats. I don't want to put up with them anymore. And we're going to come down, catch and eat this mouse. Ah, got it. Ah, no! Catch the mouse! Catch the mouse! All right, get the bat out of the way. Okay, I am not going to die to a bat. I, I feel like that's what's going to happen to Mossy. Her very first official death is going to be by a bat. But uh, gosh darn it, as long as I can, I can put that off, we're not gonna let it happen. Look at all this topaz we have. I'm so excited. Here's another piece of topaz. I think that Mossy is just one of those cats that really loves shiny things this much. She probably, if I let her, would get immensely along with Missy, despite the fact that Missy's attitude could use some adjustments. All right, please let me get further down. I just want to go a little bit deeper into the mines. Why does it have to always be the very last one? <laughs> oh, well, at least we gained some experience. All right, we're at level 33. There's some gold. You got to start realizing the difference between the different types. Uh, we've got the Valerian that we can use to invigorate ourselves, but we have gotten so low that we have finally run out of food, guys. I have to say I'm really proud of Mossy though, because we managed to get very deep in the mines and lots and lots of topaz. And next time we decide to descend into the mines, we should hopefully be able to get down to level 25, though I think we have to buy like that ability. Also, I'm learning that it might be worth it to upgrade our fighting skill so we can keep these annoying little bats off of our back too. I hope that there's not like worse enemies the deeper you go into the mines. That'd be kind of alarming. All right, you can back off bats. All right, there's that. Oh, dang it, I'm gonna have to fight him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, things are gonna get a little bit tense. We might wanna leave now while we're ahead with a little bit of gold and a little bit of topaz. All right, let's come over here and let's run. I think, oh, come on. There we go. All right, use the staircase. Darn, yeah, I think this is as deep as we can go. We should probably turn around now. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and go up to the surface. Uh, thank you guys, I know that was a lot of mining that we were doing, but I feel like that was fantastic. Let's come and visit the mole shop. And now, dun dun dun, 200 mole cash. Oh, that's so much, so much. All right, but we can use 200 mole cash to be able to warp down to level 25. Totally worth it, in my opinion. I also would love to know, like, uh, if we can sell the gemstones we collected to him somehow. Maybe we have to sell them to Ember. We'll go down to Ember and we'll see if Ember does something with them. And we have used up our little storage supply full of super awesome healing items and food. So unfortunately we are out of all of the supplies we had here. Uh -huh. Is that a squirrel? What the heck is a squirrel doing in my cave? Well, you're gonna be food. That's what, that's what you're doing in my cave. All right, let's chase him into our corner. Ha! Ah, no, he slipped past me. Ah, oh, curses. All right, eh, eh. All right, we got him. There we go. And let's go ahead and eat that squirrel. <laughs> Very good timing on that little squirrel. Uh, and yeah, I really, really, really think I can probably say for sure now that time slowed down while we were actually inside of the 
minds. So yeah, time did slow down because it's still the same morning of the 6th. That's kind of amazing. All right, and there are two contested areas that we're actually fighting with over here. And I also just noticed when we go into an area that's outside of our territory, because we're at Canyon Creek right now, 100% controlled by forest. And if we go to an area that's outside of our territory, it has the markings like this that show that it's fully controlled by us. It doesn't have any other clan or any other colonies markings up top. But if we go to a spot that is contested, hmm, like the Canyon Mesas, is this 100% controlled by us right now? Yep, same thing. But down in the contested spot, you can see the difference. Oh no, Onyx, Smokey! I'm already very weakened. Eh, take that Timbrance. Oh my gosh, Sandy. Eh, oh my gosh, what? <gasps> wow, look at that. We now can control the whole area, 100%. I didn't, what? That's so cool. We should go and control more of the area. I should go over, let's go over to the forest northern section and I'll drop some diplomacy down there, AKA my spying skills. Good job, Onyx. Onyx, I was gonna chat with you. Cause you look kind of like we could be related, except that I'm covered in moss and you are not. Um, but you're kind of in the middle of the river. I have to admire that because I am not that talented. Onyx, Onyx is a good swimming cat. Oh, that reminds me, how high are our skills? What the heck? Okay, mining is really good for your experience. Just saying, I totally missed this. I didn't realize we had gained so much experience mining. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and I'm thinking what I want to put in next is, uh, let's see, study prey. Two circles will show around their radius of direction while sneaking and while not sneaking. Maybe study prey, but I feel like the return home is much more useful to us So we're gonna go ahead and I think we can only unlock that and enable it when we're in our house Let me try We'll unlock it uh, and we, we can only equip it while we're inside our den I think return home is a really useful skill to give us especially because we're supposed to be a spy So I imagine we know the fastest ways to get home from all over the different territories So that makes a lot of sense to me. Do I have any goldenrod? Oh, I'm so full of topaz I totally forgot I have all this awesome topaz It's even better than having those really fantastic little seashells Although I would love to get the seashells too. All right, let's go ahead and use diplomacy and then we're gonna go ahead and check the diplomacy or check our territory control again. 81% versus 19%. Let's try using some lavender. And now what is it? There we go. We're almost there guys. I'm gonna use the other lavender. Ha 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 ha. And just like that, our little spy Masi has 100% established the forest colony's territory as this uh, little northern part of the forest. And now we can feel extremely safe wandering under these big beautiful trees and know that the uh, other colonies are just not gonna be able to wiggle their way in as easily anymore. I think those are some pretty nifty spy skills if you ask me. Oh good, some marigold. Definitely need that to heal up. So let's go ahead and use that. And I guess the topaz and all of the other stuff we're starting to gather will actually be a tremendously huge help when it comes to healing up with Doc too. Oh good, and there's a whole bunch of the, okay, I'm gonna save the mouse. Oh, oh, we can move our inventory around. Jeez, days and days ago I was talking about that and I just found out by accident by scooching our inventory around. Um, and actually, I, I know. <gasps> We can leave the rock debris. We could start collecting rock debris as decorative pieces. I totally used to do that all the time in Untold Tales and it just occurred to me, I can start leaving the rocks and I can start leaving the iron ore and all of that out, not to sell for like one teensy little mew, but what if we took it up to the canyons and left all the little rock pieces around like little pebbles scattered about? That would be pretty cool. And maybe I should be thinking about what Mossy could possibly contribute. Come on, yes! She's a much better hunter now too, by the way. Should definitely improve her hunting. Well, maybe swimming. We'll think about the beach and swimming later. But man, I should definitely be thinking about what Mossy could contribute with leaving behind a legacy as Mayor is always talking about by focusing on how we could decorate the world. Like maybe with a bunch of dead dragonflies because she loves catching bugs. All right, so now we need to go to the south Let's go down and let's learn how to equip the warp home skill because I think that's actually going to be a tremendously useful skill. All right, almost there. I'm carrying so much stuff. 
I've got all this treasure. Can't pick up that because I don't have enough room because I have all this treasure. All right, see, we can leave behind little bits of iron ore. They look just like little, little pebbles, actually, so it's kind of fun. And we can always come back and pick them up. There we go. And I need to use, there we go, the healing, because I don't know if I want to pay Doc to do it. Nice. I'm really excited about the idea of being able to use so many of the items as decorations, too. But I'm, I'm a simple person who enjoys simple things in her games. All right, there we go. Finally, 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 finally dragging ourselves back in. Look what the cat dragged in, eh? Ha ha ha. To the main colony. So let's go ahead and heal up a little bit with the healing herbs and then come up and talk to Ember. And I wanna see what Ember would have to say about the really cool things we have dug up from the mines. So how much for the iron ore? Just one. How much for the gold? Ooh, two, ha ha. Now tell me, how much do you want for the ultimate treasure? This beautiful, glittery, absolutely gorgeous topaz. Two? <sighs> Ember? I have a lot of words about that. I have a lot of words about that, but for now you can have my uh, some of my piles of iron ore. I see how it is. Be more practical. Practical cat indeed, and, and prefer keeping prey. Ugh. Ugh. This cat just ugh, so practical. Why why on earth would that would Ember want to have my beautiful gemstones and everything collected from the mines, after all? Why not just focus on the practical things like having all of the uh, food and the prey? I see how it is. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go put all of my little prey away. Oh, and let's come up and talk to Mayor too. Phew, I'm famished. I could really go for some fish about now. Have you ever told you how much I like the taste of fish? Everybody's got those things, and those delicious little water dwellers are mine. <gasps> Mayor, I'm gonna remember that. I only have a frog, and I have a mouse, and I want to give the mouse to Scout, but I'll remember that you like fish. And Missy, we could technically give Missy some gemstones. <sighs> I'm gonna give her one topaz, but only because we're kind of bragging that we even have the topaz. Missy, I swear, if you don't like this this precious topaz I'm giving you, we're done. Let's see. Let's give the topaz. Well, at least you have good taste. All right, well, that may be a little bit worth it. And then is Scout nearby? He is. Let's go ahead and give him the mouse. It's been like, it feels like days, but it's actually just been the morning since we've seen him. You fitting in all right around here? I hope so. The forest colony has always treated me well enough, and I'd like it if you felt the same way. If you feel otherwise, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Scout, that's so cute! Oh my gosh! Alright, let's give him the little harvest mouse. Huh? Uh, give the harvest mouse? Oh wow! I've always loved these! Thanks a billion, Mossy! You're welcome, Scout! I wouldn't mind if we could get that little black heart of yours up some different colors, but I'm not sure if even doing that much is something we can do when we are in the alpha version of the game. Alright, well, we brought home lots and lots of little treasures to start piling into the corners for sure. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. We have gold at least, like little patches of gold I can leave with my super rare butterfly. Do you guys remember when we got that butterfly? It's so fun to look around our den and already share so many memories with you guys <gasps> and here's our little topaz pieces okay for now I think we'll go ahead and drop them down kind of at the back please tell me they still they still sparkle you guys how cool is that they still have their little sparkly bits oh so cool all right so we'll go ahead and leave all of our little sparkling gemstones right at the back that little sparkling animation they do is like the best I really love it all right and we'll drop it there, wonderful. I think, do I have any more gemstones? Unfortunately, I think that's the last of my topaz because I gave Missy one. Ah, but we do have some nice little patches of iron ore we can leave about. Drop. And I'll keep the blackberries. So not bad. We're really building up quite the little treasure pile over here. I'm pretty proud. But we'll do some more exploring. And I think we will definitely see what that warp home skill is useful for uh, when we come back next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.